I've never used it in my life. Not the sort of colour I'd normally go for, but let's just see how it goes. No muck in there. Grab it hard and aggressive. There we go. Oh, he went the wrong way into the net. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, I'm Red and Wing. This is Ufish TV and a boat called Tilly on Western Port with my dog, Ripley. We're chasing Kraken. Big squid. I only need to get two or three, four would be nice. For the boys who are out tomorrow chasing big swordfish in the in the Southern Ocean or in Bass Strait. I can't go because I've got work commitments, but I'm going to try and get their bait for them. So let's see how we go. Now, we're in a place called Phillip Island. That's an island. That's a dog. That's the mainland. And basically, this is Western Port. The tide is running out. We're in about three metres of water, 2.8. And the tide's running from that way to that way out to the ocean. I'm going to go up here next to these boys and I'm going to drift with some rods dangling squid jigs right near the bottom and cast one as well. I'm tipping if you're watching this, something is about to happen. Let's, let's see some of these jigs that I'm going to be using. I know, jig, I've never used it in my life. Not the sort of colour I'd normally go for, but let's just see how it goes. So I'll be working at the front, and as I drift down here, it should sort of come back like that, cast like that, cast like as I drift down. This one just dangles behind. After all these years, I finally upgraded and got myself a real squid rod. T-curve, 722 medium spin. Well, it's not actually an egging rod, but I love it as an egging rod. And I got it paired with a Cephia egging reel. CI4 Cephia 3000, just beautiful. Look, look at the, the grip arrangement. I just love this. So smooth. So yep, yeah, finally, my fire blood has been put in a rod holder and been relegated to drifting and I've got a new work rod. It's just beautiful, two piece rod. It's a 722, what that means is seven foot two, two piece. By Shimano T curve, the finest of their rods is the T curves. It's just beautiful, it's so light, it's like a feather. One of the things I love about a good squid rod is I love a nice short section here, but not crazy short. One of the downsides to that rod was the butt section was a little bit too short, so not so good for two handed casting. This, as you can see, a little bit better. That reel is super smooth. Right. Can the new outfit and the new jig outfish the proven old little baby jig and the old outfit? I've only got one battery and one GoPro, so I'm going to switch this off and hopefully it comes back on when we've catch something or something happens. Near sunset now, so I'm gonna run this all red foil. Look at that beautiful natural brownie green Shimano clinch 3.5. Let's go. You don't have to do a lot. You just got to make sure it's in the strike zone and moving. That's about it. So your whole job as a squid fisherman is just keeping it in the strike zone. This one's just going to be close to the bottom, I think. Boat. I'll just give it one last drop right near the boat, just in case. You can see the squidgy going down. And click. Nothing there. Come on, mother. 
mother suckers. Mother suckers, that's what they are. I've been out here for three hours nearly. This is my second squid. I've really had to work hard for them, I tell you. So I've been saving batteries because I just didn't want to waste batteries in the endless hunt for nothing. But now that took off really good. I turned the camera on. So the good news is if I land this fish, we'll have bait. This is where you've got to watch out for the second squid because you want the second squid if it's got one with it. No mucking around. Grab it hard and aggressive. Get over it. Get over it. Right. Hang on, Rip. Fimby, I've got a big squid on, buddy. They're going to be selling on the phone. And I'm drifting out of fentanyl here in the deep, trying to get some sword baits for the boys who are going sword fishing tomorrow and they need squid. I got one, Rippy. I got one, darling. Oh, it's a big boy. Where's me net? Watch out. Stand back. Oh, it's a, it's a giant. Keep ringing. <laughs> it's, a, it's, tr it's a true giant. Not even just a medium giant, a true giant. Still fine, huh? Yeah. I'll share it, Rip. Oh, he went the wrong way into the net. Thank you. Oh. Oh, 45? Really? Like a giant? Yeah. Like we got Flinders that day. Really big. Because maybe when I'm on the phone call, you know, I always have something to do with big stuff, don't I? <laughs> well, I'm just going to get me right of the way before Ripley stands on it, but that's good. I've actually found a couple of squid now. What's the tide? Is it like a tide change or something? No. Oh, big dog. Big dog. I just called Big Dog. No, don't get him, Ripley. Careful, darling. Don't you eat him. Watch out, darling. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. It's a big dog. Big dog. Tiniest little jig, too. Look at that. Tiny. We got ourselves Big Dog. Hey, Fimby, go to uh, switch it to video, live video. What do you call that? Um, I can't because I'm on a Samsung. Oh. So oh. You, can't, you can't use your iPhone and Samsung to video. Alright, well, I'm going to keep moving, buddy. I'll speak yeah. to you later, yeah? yeah absolutely. See you, mate. That is huge.
Wow. What are you doing? Guilty. Ah. That beast. Hello. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Oh, Betty. It's coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> 